Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve this system of equation, okay? So let's just first call our first equation 1 and the second equation 2, okay? We can see that x plus y is equal to 0 according to the second equation. And the first equation is that. So the first equation implies that exponential x plus 2 exponential y is equal to 3 okay now if you multiply all this first equation by exponential x we'll just have exponential x times exponential x plus 2 exponential y is equal to 3 exponential x okay now if you expand this we'll have exponential 2x okay plus 2 exponential x times exponential y is equal to 3 exponential x okay now this gives again exponential 2x plus 2 exponential we know that exponential x times exponential y is just exponential x plus y okay which is equal to 3 exponential x okay we have this now we know from the first equation that from the second equation that x plus y is equal to 0 okay let's use it here so this one is just 0 okay so if we replace it, we'll have that exponential 2x plus 2 times exponential 0, which is 1, is equal to 3 exponential x. So this is again exponential 2x plus 2 is equal to 3 exponential x. Okay, now let me rewrite this. This is exponential 2x minus 3 exponential x plus 2 equal to 0. Now from here, you can directly solve this using delta or you can just rewrite it as exponential 2x minus exponential x minus 2 exponential x plus 2 is equal to zero okay because this is still minus three exponential x here okay which doesn't change anything so now here if i pull exponential x outside of this one i will just have that exponential x outside of exponential x minus one okay now from this if I pull minus 2 outside, we just have minus 2 exponential x minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, this is also a simple way to solve it if you don't want to use the delta, the discriminant delta. Okay, so this is again, I can see that I have the same term here, so I can pull it outside also. And just rewrite my equation as exponential x minus 1 times exponential x minus 2 equal to 0. Okay, you can see from this that I have already the solutions of my equation. So I have exponential x minus 1 is equal to 0 or exponential x minus 2. Is equal to zero so this means that I have exponential x equal to 1 or exponential x equal to 2 so I can apply the ln function here which is just the log function okay so I have ln of exponential x is equal to ln of 1 or ln of exponential x is equal to ln of 2 okay I have this which is 
which implies that x is equal to ln of 1, which is 0, or x is equal to ln of 2. Okay, here we have two value of x, and what we are going to do now is to find the corresponding value of y. Okay, so we know from our second equation that we know from our second equation that so the second equation implies that x plus y is equal to zero. Okay, we are going to replace the value of x into the second equation and find the corresponding value of y. We could also replace it into the first equation, but it is more easier to replace it into the second equation, okay? So if x is equal to 0, what is the value of y? So if x is x is equal to 0, implies that 0 plus y is equal to 0. So this means that y is also equal to 0. So the first couple of solution, x, y, is 0, 0, okay? We have this. Now let's just take the second value of x and find the corresponding value of y, okay? So now, if I have x is equal to ln of 2, which is the second value of x, this implies that this implies that x x which is ln of 2 sorry ln of 2 plus y is equal to 0 okay this is the second equation so this implies that i have y is equal to minus ln of 2 so the second couple of solutions x y is x y equal to ln of 2 and minus ln of 2 okay so what we are going to do now is to check that these are really the solutions of our system of equation let's just take the first couple of solution 0 0 and check if it is solution of our system let me rewrite our system of equation, which is exponential x plus 2 exponential y is equal to 3 and x plus y equal to 0. Now we see that 0, 0 is the solution of this system because if I replace into the first equation, I will have exponential 0 plus 2 times exponential 0, which is just 1 plus which is equal to 3. So this first equation is, satis is satisfied. If I replace also into the second equation, I will just have 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. So this second equation is also satisfied. So this is the good solution of our system, okay, which I can call it the obvious solution. Okay, let's now check that this couple is a good solution of our system so ln of 2 and minus ln of 2 okay if i replace okay let me clean this if i replace now if i replace now x by in if i take the first equation i have exponential x which is ln of 2 plus 2 exponential y which is minus ln of 2 okay what is this? This is again exponential ln of 2 is just equal to 2 plus 2 times. I know that minus ln of 2 is again ln of 1 divided by 2. Okay. So this is again 2 plus 2 times 1 half. Okay. Which is 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. So this first solution is satisfied. Okay, the second solution will just be ln of 2 minus ln of 2, which is just 0. So, for the second solution, we'll just have ln of 2. This is the second solution. The second equation, minus ln 
of 2 is just equal to 0. So this couple also is a good solution of our system. So if you like the video, please subscribe and leave comments. Thank you.